Hola, today in this video we're going to edit with me. So you're going to take your photos from this to this. Keep watching. So first I'm going to start with this app called Airbrush. It's basically an app that helps you correct flaws in a photo. There's all sorts of tool tools you can whiten your teeth, whatnot, fix your skin, which is what I'm going to do first. So I'm going in with this smooth tool and going over my skin. I know I shouldn't do this, but I don't know. I'm still too insecure to post a photo with my acne. I do it on stories now, so you guys already know what my skin looks like, but you know. Um, and then I go in with the heavy smooth tool to kind of fix any wrinkles in a shirt. I'm wearing a leather jacket in this photo, but it still kind of helps it. In the summertime, I do it on my legs as well. And honestly, I'm going to go in with the acne tool as well, just to fix a couple little blemishes. Again, I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't do this, but I do, and I've never tried to hide it, so, you know. So I saved it there, but I just realized last second that my hat actually looks really poofy. It kind of looks like a chef's hat. So I'm going in with the reshape tool. This tool, I don't know, you can use it for a lot of things, but in this instance, I'm making my hat look a little bit more smushed and a little bit more like a baker boy hat instead of a chef hat. Next I'm going in with Lightroom. This is the best app ever. You can see um, I use Lightroom for pretty much the rest of the editing now. So you can see if you scroll down all of my photos I've edited on Lightroom and they all have a cohesive edit. Um, normally I can just copy and paste the edit right onto a new photo. See that's before and afterwards. Um, but this time I'm going to go start to finish exactly what I do with you guys, just so you can see what happens. So first you're going into light, and I'm just adjusting any highlights and shadows. I usually like to bring down the highlights. For this one I'm going minus 20 because this photo is a little bit brighter than the rest of my photos. And then I take the shadows up. It just creates a little bit more of a 2D look, I guess you could say. I just like how it looks. And then I usually kind of bring up the whites just because I like the whites in a photo. It makes it a lot brighter. And in this scenario, because I'm wearing a black leather jacket, I want it to really pop, so I brought down the blacks. Now you're going into the colors. Um, this is where this is what honestly changes a photo. So I brought down the yellow completely and the green completely. I hate green in a photo, to be honest. And the yellow makes my hair look blonder, and it makes the cement more um, white looking. Next is this like turquoise blue. Usually I don't play with this, but that window behind me is a really weird teal color, and it really fixed the color in that. Next is blue, so this is also key to a photo. This is going to change the color of my jeans, especially in this photo. I want more of that like Levi's color. Because for whatever reason, these are actual Levi's I'm wearing, but they turned out a weird hue in the photo. So I really like that like washed out, really light blue denim look. But if you have any white in the photo, it also makes the whites more white. Next is the orange. I usually take down the saturation a little bit. In this one, I look pale, so I brought it up. And the luminance makes your skin look less um, pigmented as well. Sometimes I play around with the red just to make my cheeks look a little bit more rosy and more alive, but this one I didn't have to do much. And I always bring up the temperature. The temperature right now I have a quite a warm feed. Um, so I played, brought it up to about 14 and then went back into the orange because my skin looked a little bit too pigmented. So I went back and brought the orange down. And then I also like to bring up the tint to more of a pinky color. I do have a little bit of a pink tone in my feet as well, so I bring that up a little bit. So that's before and after. See how much of a huge difference it makes. And then I go into effects, and I usually like to bring up the clarity as well. It just makes it a sharper photo, and then I bring up the grain just a little bit as well. It just kind of gives the photo a really cool texture. Some guy on Hinge messaged me, great. Probably won't go on a date with him, let's be real. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much everything to it. So I save it, 
I'm really happy with how it looks. Looks like the rest of my photos, really. And then I bring into this app it's called Mosaico. It basically helps you plan your feed. Everything so far is posted, so you have to delete old photos. But I'm going to bring in the one that we just edited from my camera roll and see how it looks. So right now it looks a little bit too warm, so I'm going back into Lightroom to take down the temperature so that it flows with my feet a little bit more. So we'll just resave that before and after. And import it into Mosaico with a little bit more of a cooler tone to see if it goes. And yeah, I like the way it looks. Content, content, content with the content. And at that point, you're pretty much ready to post on Instagram. So you go into Instagram and ready for a post. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how I edit my photos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.